flick back then to the interview I was doing just a moment ago um, with uh, the person there, Jill Robinson, who's the conservationist who founded Animal Asia Foundation. And she has been trying for an awfully long time, with some success, it has to be said, to end um, this horrible, horrible practice of bear bile farming uh, in uh, China. But she is coming to Lydney this week at the invite of local wildlife artist. And Lisa Ann Watkins is her name. And she's on the phone now. Hello to you, Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Can I just say before we go any further how beautiful your work is? Absolutely gorgeous. I've been looking at some of those pictures online and they're just lovely. How do you manage to capture the sort of essence of a, any particular bear in this instance through um, your work? Well, when I was resourcing also I had to sort of source a bear from, you know, from each species, eight species from around the world. So I had to obviously find the bear, first of all. And um, I went through an organisation I also work with, with Dog Rescue, and they're called Howser Bears, two sisters that um, work with all of these organisations around the world rescuing bears. And they gave me my eight bears. So then I just went off and contacted all the organisations individually, sourced the photographs, and then I got stories of the bears. And it's through the story, the character of the bear, that's what I try to portray, and it's got to come out through the eyes to tell the story. Yeah, well... So it's probably yeah. start that, that with the animal. Yeah, tick, tick that box, absolutely uh, has succeeded there. You invited Jill Robinson, uh, MBE, uh, to come to speak. She's coming on Friday. How big a deal was that for you? It's just huge, because I know how precious and valuable Jill's time is. Um, so for her to say that she is coming along is just... Well, it means the world to me, plus it means more focus for the bears, which is what it's all about, giving them a voice, and she is one of the biggest voices in conservation in the world. Yeah. Um, this is sort of almost as if that wasn't enough. It's, it's kind of part of a bigger event, really, isn't it, that's happening at Lydney? Tell me what else is going on because of this event. Um, well, because of um, Jill coming, obviously I've um, invited now. We've got bear experts coming from all over the globe as well. We've, we've actually got the doctor that originally operated on Jill's bear, Quantox, which I don't think she's aware of yet. Um, we've got the owner of a, a rescue of the, one of the other bears, Carmen, coming down from Scotland. We've got UK Wild Boar Trust coming. We've got uh, one of the cameramen from Springwatch coming. We've got uh, one of the cameramen from Springwatch coming. We've just got so many people coming on Friday now <laughs> that are just going to give the voice, hopefully, and carry the exhibition on even when it's when it's finished yeah and and that's what you wanted was to give these bears a voice absolutely absolutely <laughs> um so for somebody if people want to come i appreciate it's limited space but is there still space available can people get there is to... a few spaces available and i'm sure at the end of the day, only for the presentation there's because the weather's going to be good on friday jill's going to be there and we can mingle outside so even if they come along there is there's, there's plenty of space at tourist crafts for people to come over uh, how, does it cost? Uh, no, it's, it's a free event. We are gonna, I am going to ask the donations on the day for people, but it is a free event, and normally you sort of pay quite a lot of money to go to something like this. Yeah. It's privilege, so. so the exhibition starts today for your work, but it's... It's been running for four weeks, actually. Oh, I apologise. Yeah, well, right, it, well no. it's got till <laughs> Sunday then to get on and, yeah, and see it. And 12 till 2 on Friday is um, Jill's presentation and the other things that are going on. So That's right. How do people book them? What's the best thing to do? Call Taurus Crafts? Or? If they um, email me or if they telephone through to for Taurus Crafts, Okay. Uh, lovely. Thank you very much. Really good to speak to you. And um, beautiful work, as I say. If you if you do have access to your internet, do a little search on Lisa Ann Watkins and put in bear and, and those pictures will come up and you can see them for yourself up close and personal at Taurus Crafts until Sunday. And um, uh, animal um, campaigner Jill Robinson will be there on Friday lunchtime, 12 till 2. Mm-hmm.